Greetings, greetings, it's Eric Packer, naturopath. Thanks for tuning into the video. We're doing a series on gut inflammation today. We're going to talk about what inflamed gut is, the symptoms, the foods, you know, all those sorts of things. So let's talk about how to reduce gut inflammation. What are some of the key things that you could do right now to reduce inflammatory responses in the gut? Be sure to watch the video I've completed on you know what signs and symptoms of gut inflammation. So you know maybe you can identify that if actually, you've actually got this problem. Now you'll know what to do about that problem. So when you listen to what I'm saying, I want you to make sure also you watch the other two videos on the foods to eat and the other video with foods to avoid gut inflammation. Those are two key videos that really work well with this one. So. <clears throat> Good ways to reduce the inflamed gut, of course, is to avoid the foods that are triggering these responses in the first place. And that's something I spoke about before. I spoke about alcohol and you know, uh, foods containing trans fatty acids, artificial sugars, artificial flavors. I talked about high beef consumption. Uh, you know, I talked about takeaway food, all this crappy food that you know to avoid, but you like to eat, you love to eat, because you, you know, you're basically got no time to cook. So you're gonna grab these kind of foods, but, you know, it all adds up in the long run. These are the key foods to avoid. All right, so go back and watch that video. It's an important one. And also check out the foods to eat because there are many good suggestions in that video. You know, blueberries and you know, fatty fish and uh, green leafy vegetables. So the diet is the foundation for you to really, un you know, if you get the diet right, you're really working positively in the right way to reducing an inflamed gut. But in my opinion, uh, the alcohol is one of the biggest ones of all for a lot of people. It's a difficult one. People struggle often with reducing alcohol, sugar, alcohol, and crappy food, basically. That's what we're looking at. And then eating fresh. You know, eating fresh. You know what to eat. So you should really do what you know is the right thing to do. Supplements play a key role when it comes to gut inflammation. And omega-3 is one of the most ubiquitous of all anti-inflammatory supplements to take. So this is what I recommend you start with as an omega-3 supplement. Just take one per day or two capsules per day. Um, three is ideal. Probiotics also uh, form a very powerful role because they balance the microbiota. They get the bacteria correct. They start reducing populations of bad bacteria. They put the squeeze on candida and, you know, and, and bad bacteria and parasites. They just put that pressure on them. So probiotic at least once, if not twice per day. Check out our Canzita Restore, the product which I created. It's got enzymes and probiotics in it, and it works very, very well for reducing gut inflammation. Um, reduce your food intake in general. Most people, in my opinion, eat too much food. They could easily do with 20, 30% less than they're eating. This puts a lot, lot less load on the digestive system. It makes digestion more efficient excretion more efficient, absorption more efficient, and it also helps to reduce inflammation by reducing the workload on the gut in general. Um, of course, last but not least, treat the bad guy in the room. All right? The room meaning the digestive system, the bad guy meaning candida or yeasts or parasites or bad bacteria. So these ideally would be identified and treated. It's a bit like you come home and you think there's somebody in the house, but you're not sure. You turn on all the lights and a guy runs away. You know, not a good idea to have bad people in the house. You want to get rid of them because you want to keep the house with good people in there. You know, so if the place is secure and you've got a good alarm system, you're reducing your chances of getting the bad guy in, the, in, in, in a room in your house. We spoke in a previous video about the immune system being the alarm system of the house. So if you've got a great functioning immune system, there's a lot less chance a bad guy is going to get in there because you're going to get detected and eliminated a lot earlier. So if you want to keep that alarm system in your body in great shape, the diet is paramount. It's a key thing to do. And then if there is a bad guy you've identified, get rid of him. And that can work positively with an antimicrobial. Many people with gut inflammation have got microbes in their gut that need to get out of there or need to be reduced in number. Check out Canzita Restore, the tablet I created. It helps to clean the gut up, really get rid of that bad guy, reduce the numbers. The Canzita um, Remove and Restore work beautifully together. The remove gets rid of the guy, the Restore helps to rebuild that gut. So they work as a pigeon pair to help reduce inflammation and get the gut back into great shape. 
it's not that hard to reduce gun inflammation. <clears throat> it's common sense. It might take you a few months to do, and you'll be surprised at the reduction in symptoms like bloating, gas, brain fog, irritability, you know, mood disorders, uh, many kind of skin symptoms. All of these things can come about from inappropriate gut inflammation that you can control. So I hope that gives you a few pointers you know, on some things to do. Thanks for tuning in.